This is Lord Thaddeus Cray. This is my first video. So bear with me. Those of you who know me know that I am Wes Vic. That's my real name. There's nothing hiding on that. But that's a matter of semantics. You guys also know that I've been a minor part of the Dogman and Bigfoot research community for a few months now. I'm no expert. I don't claim to be. Not even close. But I do have theories like any other person. And I'm always trying to be open mind. Sometimes I definitely make the wrong observation, more common than not. And I said, I'm no expert on this. But that's not what I'm here for. I'm just here to discuss a small theory. This theory is that of the Dogman. I put up in one of the groups that I run about where it may have come from. I was asking a question. I wanted to hear what people thought. Whether maybe it was something that Uncle Sam cooked up in a lab somewhere, or that it was something before that. I believe it was the latter. Something long before the government even thought of these things. Now, do I think that uh, there have been maybe some kind of experimentations going on, or kind of bullshit like that? Yeah, of course. That's just to be expected. Us human beings are very good at tinkering with things we have no business doing so. But that's not really what it's about. You're probably wondering, okay, since you're thinking this thing's been around a long time, where does it come from? I can't tell you. I do know through different literatures that I've come across, stories I've heard from people who are native, that these creatures have been around a very long time. But maybe even longer than us. It's like the Bigfoot, I believe. And yes, I do think those things exist. What they are, where they come from, that's for people with a higher pay grade than me. But what I do know is the Dogman is also a creature that has been around. The legends that I've come across are simple, of course. You know, most, if y'all are interested in the Dogman at all, you're going to know about the native legends and, of course, the werewolf legends and stuff. I don't know if they are werewolves. They could be. But I kind of doubt that. I mean, you know, that's old hat. The stuff we already know. But there's stuff that I'm going to enlighten you on that you may not know. Or maybe you do. Some people do. One is of the Cenocephali. Ceno being dog. Cephali meaning head. Dog-headed men. These are old Greek legends. I think probably long before Christianity come around. These beings were creatures that were known for being humanoid, looking like giant men with heads of dogs. Clawed hands, all of it. Fierce warriors. They would trade uh, anything from spices to, I think, woven baskets to weapons. And, of course, they were naturally feared mercenaries and hunters. If you saw a group of these guys coming at you, yeah, write your will up. You're done. These things were... <laughs> They were had a reputation as being very frightening creatures. Supposedly they were non-verbal, but they definitely communicate with each other. Maybe through barks, gestures, it ain't matter. And these guys were smart, just like us. Maybe even smarter in some ways. <clears throat> the Cenocephali were... I'm just saying, they were def... Do your research. I can't quote anything, but I do know they were in Greek texts, as well as that of different historians speaking of these things. <clears throat> Now, I'm not sure that's what the dog man is. I'm just kind of letting you know that these creatures have been around a while. And the records of them have been around since, <laughs> well, before anything that we can realize. Leave it at that. Also, you gotta think, I believe it was one of the saints. Don't quote me on his name, but I do believe there is a legend of a saint in a Catholic literature about, um, uh, I want to say it was St. Christopher, but don't quote me on that. I'm probably wrong on his name, but supposedly he was one of the Cenocephali, and Christ ran into him, and he became saved. I mean, we're talking some pretty interesting things here about the records of these, whatever they are. Also, you have to think about this, Anubis. And, of course, who is Anubis? If you don't know, then, well, I'll enlighten you. I'm pretty sure most of you would know. The ancient uh, Egyptian legend of uh, one of the Greek gods, of the, no, God damn it, one of the Egyptian 
pantheon. He was their jackal-headed god of death, if I remember right. Supposedly he would weigh the hearts of those who were guilty and decent according to the Egyptian laws. Basically, if you were decent, you went to be in paradise or whatever happened, and if you were not, you were fed to, uh, <laughs> I think it was Sopek, which was basically a horrific crocodile and monster that would eat you up six ways to Sunday. My point is, these legends of these things go, they go back a, a long, long way. These things are known to definitely have some kind of supernatural connection, I'll tell you that. And of course, there's other things about them. We already, like I told you, you know, the natives have different legends of them. Some are good, some are not so good. Most of them are actually not so good. So I would definitely not be too inclined to uh, come across one of these things. And as for the sightings, do I believe that most people who have seen these things are telling the truth? I would say definitely. There's no... Re I've talked to many people, and let me tell you right now, man. Most of these folks have no reason to lie. At all. What would they gain? I mean, of course, you have your occasional moron that looks for their 15 minutes of fame, but that's... Well, I've run across a couple of those, too, but... I would say 80% of the people I've come across, they're dead on. But here's another thing you have to understand when it comes to the Dogman. I don't believe everyone sees just that. It could also be something impossible, basically like an imposter. You have to understand, man, I've come across spirits. And I've come across both good and evil spirits. Not of my choice. I'll tell you that now. But I'm telling you. They can appear as something which they're not. That's one thing I know. Is what your mind perceives. And a lot of these things feed on fear. So basically, if you have... Of course, you've been reading a lot of stuff on the dog, man. And naturally, it's a terrifying critter. You know, something like that could be like, Hey, I'm going to scare the daylights of this person. What can I get that will feed me the most? Okay, dog, man. My point is, be aware of that, too. And now, as the theory of the government, I think it just kind of speaks for itself. I mean, you listen to anything on Coast to Coast AM, there's all kinds of stories about people tinkering around, exploiting things they've captured, scientists doing things who obviously hadn't read Frankenstein and figured out, hey, this is not a good idea. You, we already know. Governments like to employ scientists and lunatics that really like to play God. I mean, just look up, look up Operation Paperclip. You can get, you get where I'm going with this. <clears throat> I think that's one of the reasons, you know, the Nazi scientists, I think that's one of the reasons we are as potentially advanced as we are right now. Just leave it at that. I'm not making accusations, I'm just saying what's out there. So if there's anyone listening to this that <laughs> thinks that maybe I'm trying to get them under fire of any sort that ain't my intent. Believe me, I'm just speaking from what's out there. But anyway, <clears throat> I definitely believe they've been exploited by the government, maybe even trained in some cases to, or augmented to do some very bad stuff, especially if it's a military operation. Think on that, or a project, whatever the hell you want to call it. I don't know what they are, but I'm telling you, these creatures have been around since well before any of us. Leave it at that. <clears throat> so I believe it's a little bit of both. That's really what this first uh, video or commentary I'm going to do is about. If anybody has any questions, let me know in the comments. Believe me, I'm a very open mind of a person. Talk with me. I'm more than willing to get things out there. And also, if you are wanting to get an interview on one of the shows that I'm connected with, be it John Bell's Dogman Cams, which of course I am part of, that's mainly what I'm connected with, we already know this, or Jason the Truth with Sean Graham, let me know. <clears throat> My email is wesvic w-e-s-v-s-e-k at dogman camps d-o-g-m-a-n-c-a-m-s at 
dogmancams.com. Westvic at dogmancams.com. <clears throat> so, there you go. Hopefully I will hear from you, and I definitely look forward to hearing what you have to say in the comments. And like I said, get in contact with me. Or look me up in the Dogman Cams group and I, on Facebook, and I'll be glad to get a hold of you, and we'll talk. And feel free to inbox me. I'm not... Believe me, I'm... I'm willing to work with anyone. Of course, if you want to be an idiot, I'm not going to deal with you too much. But other than that, I think we'll get along fine. Hit me up. And let me know if you want me to make more of these. And we'll see what comes up. Talk to y'all soon and hope to hear some decent responses. Be safe out there.